Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got my hands on a Z-Pax tent. It's called the Plex Solo. Weighs 15 ounces. So I'm excited to be able to start using this. But um, first we're gonna see how it sets up. Never set this up before, never seen it set up personally. But um, I've seen a few people on TV do it, but we're gonna see if we can do it. Um, it does use a trek and pole, so it, that's what makes it lighter. I think it says a 135 centimeter trekking pole has to be used, so let's stretch this bad boy out here. Put it on a 135. Put this on 135. All right. Usually I put my trekking poles normally around um, 125 centimeters, and that's about right here. So you know it's a quite a bit different. I bought my regular tent pegs that I had. It doesn't come with tent pegs. It comes in a little Dynema case. It's made out of Dynema fabric, which um, is durable and light. That's all I can tell you. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can do this. There we go. First, we're gonna do all four corners. Let's see if we can do it this way. I got some weird stakes here, but they work. Um, not gonna get it too tight right here on this side until we um, know what we're doing here. I know after we get it, we'll have to tighten it back up. Put that down there, and we'll tighten it up a little bit. Tighten this one. All right, now we'll leave it right there, and then we'll do this one at the very back. And this is where our trekking pole will go in. <clears throat> Little spot for it right there. You can see it up in there when you look. Pretty easy to find. All right. All right. Let's see here. This is a little bit trickier. I can't remember how they done it. Yeah, right like this. Look at that and that. Let me get me a little bit more here. I need to tighten that out like this. Okay, I see now. I see now. Put this in there. <clears throat> then you can tighten it up up here. We'll go ahead and put these side ones on too so we can see, get the full effect. And these just keep the outside off of you a little bit. A little bit better from what I've seen. Looks pretty cool. I believe that's it. Oh, this one over here. pretty neat this is it from the side could probably tighten these up a little bit more 
Pretty tight though. Real sturdy. You can see how it kind of holds it out more. There we go. See that pulled it out. A couple times in doing that and you'd have it down pat. Well, you wouldn't want to walk around this thing at night. I guess that's why them are yellow. Let's go ahead and get in here. You get in here as you just open one of them. We're gonna open both of them and get them back so you can see. It's got a little stay right here. Pull it around. Pretty neat. This is, seems like it'd be a hassle to mess with, but I'm sure you just don't be opening and closing them all the time. See how you would want that straight up and down, but it works. Hmm. All right, let's find the zipper right here. Nice zipper, nice. All right, we're gonna take you in this bad boy. It's got a big opening, big opening. I like that. This kind of comes out a little bit. So you could, if I got this tent peg where it would stand it more straight up, I think it'd be a lot better. But uh, all in all, it's pretty cool. Let's get in it and see how much room we got. Here's what it looks like on the inside. It's got a bathtub floor. See these right here. If you need to go higher with your floor so your stuff don't get wet, you can. I guess that's something that you would adjust it when you get out there. Yeah, that seems like there's a lot more room in this bad boy than my other ones. I could see I can see what you mean. See how the As long as this right here, like the water and the condensation on the inside, I think we'll run off of this. I think you'd be all right. And um, it seems to be doing that everywhere. I thought I seen a pocket on the inside here. I might not have. Yeah, I did. I seen a pocket right here. And it's got some uh, a patch, patch tape in a, a little Ziploc baggie sewed in. So, that just stays there. No, it's taped on there, but that just stays there until you need it, because at least you know where it's at. I like it. Looks really thin, but supposedly they're supposed to be really strong. <laughs> like really, really strong. Oh, I got my net right there in the thing. Or is that how it's supposed to be? Oh, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. That's weird. I don't know if you can see it real good. See that line going up there? That net is sewed all the way up through there. And uh, looks like it should go down on this line. You know what I mean? Like this line. But it's sewed up this line. But. I guess we're gonna have to head out and try this one out on the trail, see how we like it. Um, wow, there's a lot more room. And uh, this is gonna be real nice, I can already tell it. Um, so much more room, <laughs> that's crazy. How something can weigh less and have more room. All right, y'all, I just wanted to show you what it looked like whenever we set it up. It was real easy to set up. That was the first time I ever set it up, so it's not impossible. Like I said, it was 15 ounces, around 15 ounces. 
Um, with the st if you count the steaks in, I'm sure it weighs around a pound, maybe a little bit under. Um, Anyway, I'm excited to show y'all what it's like hiking with it um, soon. And um, I'm excited to set it up and hike with it. It's supposed to be really, really sturdy and high winds and everything. So, boy, it feels sturdy. Wow, I can't believe it. All right, well, I just pulled one of my stakes up here. I guess that's why you got to get them in there good, ain't it? <clears throat> Thanks for coming along, guys. And uh, until the next time, thank you. Bye.